I, I mean, at the end, we just accept that not all of us are in a place to pursue a, a committed relationship and that's okay. And Well, Leah, I, I know that this season probably for you has been a, probably a bit challenging maybe watching back because you're dealing with a lot of the fallout from your relationship with Jalen. So what's it been like for you kind of watching these past few episodes? It was definitely challenging um, at the uh, beginning, but it's, I mean, I think we've moved forward and we're in great places. We both are and my mm -hmm. kids are happy and we're, uh, we're just moving forward. Yeah. Do you have any sort of relationship with Jalen anymore? Or did you kind of put that in the past after, you know, you find out that you were kind of duped by him? Uh, we'll definitely put it in the past and just move, for, I mean, move forward. Mm -hmm. uh, I, took some time for myself to rebuild my confidence and self-esteem and um, after that breakup and that relationship because it took a hit. I mean, I definitely took a hit from it, but huh. overall, I mean, it's fine. I mean, we're in a great place. We're cordial. We get along. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll see that. You'll see that in the se this season. Yeah. Was it hard for you to get back to that place after, you know, you like you said, you kind of had to build back your self-confidence and your trust. Um, so was it hard for you to get back to that place with him? And did you even want to? I think it was hard to get back to that place with myself yeah. because I was there before the relationship, but it definitely, it's like, well, you know, it took a toll and I felt like a failure, I felt like a failure, but I learned a lot at the beginning. I felt like a failure, but reflecting on the relationship and even the breakup, I realized it was really a blessing in disguise and I needed it. I needed it to learn to trust my own intuition when something maybe doesn't feel right or just isn't working out. And yeah, that's that. Yeah. Are you dating again? Is that something that you're thinking about? Um, do you want to? And is it hard for you to trust other people knowing what you've been through too? Uh, yes, I think that, I mean, I, I say that I give everyone the benefit of the doubt until you prove me wrong. I think my circle is uh, extremely important to me, my circle meaning me and my children. So who I allow in um, I want to choose widely about that, but I, I mean, we're growing and we're learning and we make mistakes and we keep mm -hmm. going. Definitely. Are you dating though? No. no. <laughs> like going to take a, take a little break. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to avoid that question. I'm trying to avoid okay. that <laughs> Sorry. I know. I'm sure everybody's been probably asking you that today. You're like, no, we're good. Um, how were your children affected by this? And, you know, did they watch back the show? I'm sure they're fully aware. I mean, um, it, it had to be difficult for them, too, because they had a relationship with him. I think given the circumstances, honestly, the entire time during our relationship, it wasn't traumatic at all. Yeah. Um, so there was nothing really traumatic. I, I mean, at the end, we just accept that not all of us are in a place to pursue a, a committed relationship and that's okay. And I think that we're all still learning, growing and finding ourselves. And uh, my kids are, they're fine with it. I think at first yeah. it was like, all right. And then I mean, we're fine. We're happy, yeah. we're healthy and that's all that matters.